Hello, everybody, and welcome back to SnowRunner. Once again, we are checking out the Season 2 of the Season Pass here in the Yukon and uh, the Western Star 49X. Now, this thing is $4. It's an addition uh, to the Season Pass. It doesn't come with it, unfortunately. So there's some controversy there whether it's worth it or not, I've seen. Um, but it is only $3.99 if you really want the truck you can purchase it. Looking at the map, you can see we are in flooded foothills here in Yukon, Canada. And Canada is going to be kind of a theme here uh, on the channel for the next uh, few days. And hopefully I'll get the green light. I can start making the American Truck Simulator content on the new Pro Mods Canada map. That looks absolutely incredible. They did send it to me early on. Uh, I have refrained. It's been very difficult to not check it out, uh, but I have refrained from doing so. So that is in the pipeline. I'm excited for that. Um, speaking of pipelines, you can see one right here. So there's some things here with the season pass that are brand new. You can now craft materials. You now have these storage uh, spaces that you can put your different uh, you know materials in uh, as well. And then you can deconstruct zones for materials. So there's a lot of different stuff here to check out. Now, I didn't uh, trick my... 49x out yet i want to go into the garage with you and show you around so let's customize the truck and uh, by the way we do have some other ones that are in this uh, dlc and one being a new scout vehicle which is the cat th357 which is basically a big forklift and uh, it's the only scout that you can pretty much uh, work with cargo that way, which is really cool. Uh, another one that is in my truck storage right now that came with the DLC is the KRS 58 Bandit. Uh, so we'll check that out later down the road, but I'm super excited for the Western Star and that's what we're going to check out today. So engine wise, we have some options here. Uh, looks like we can jump up to the highest one, which is 12,800 bucks. Might as well do it, right? Uh, we have a balanced tyrant. Okay, that stuff is uh, got to be explored here in Alaska and Michigan. Really? I don't have that? Okay. Well, you, you live and you learn. Uh, stock suspension tires. Uh, we're going to put some off-roads on these bad boys. I'm not really sure what to expect as far as what the terrain's going to throw at us here. This is free, so we're just going to go with those. Um, winch. Man, uh, I would like an extended heavy winch or an advanced or a twin motor heavy. I mean, let's spend some money on this truck. What do you say? Engageable diff lock is good. A snorkel you can get on this thing. We'll put a wedge cap. Actually, you know what? Intake filter. Uh, we'll do a wedge cap on this bad boy. We have all wheel drive uh, that's engageable. We'll buy that. We don't want the rear. Uh, and then frame additions. This is what we got here is options. Pretty much what uh, you would expect. You know, saddle high, saddle low. Um, sideboard bed. We're going to throw that on here uh, for today. Actually, you know what? Let's just uh, roll with a... Uh, flatbed on this bad boy and uh, we can move into the visuals here so we got the sun visor with fog lights chrome cap with beacons uh, and then a stock sun visor so we can get some uh, beacons I don't see the beacons on that but we're gonna select it we will select it uh, we have some oh there's double race beacons there and stuff like that look at those those are pretty cool looking uh, we'll go with those uh, front bumper on this here's some options here which is cool I've never seen the 49x uh, with a big, huge bull bar on it. So that's actually pretty darn slick. We will buy that. Uh, then we have some... <laughs> oh, nice. You have the cabin air conditioner, the parking lights, all horns, and all that stuff. Um, we're going to go with just the three in the front there. I think that'll look cool. Uh, exhaust on here, outrolled. Yeah, so basically what we would expect uh, options for those, which I like the stock ones on that, honestly. Rims, uh, we could put them... Uh, whatever we want. Looks like it's just what we normally have here. Let's go with those. Um, that's what we normally have. And then color wise, not a whole lot of options. You know, when you're getting a DLC uh, vehicle that you're paying for, I would like to see a little bit more uh, involved with the customization of it. If you're going to ask for more than what it is, that black and orange looks really cool, actually. But I'm going to go with the uh, the Bumblebee style look here uh, today. And then decorations, we have bobbleheads we put in here. Obviously, let's put a little dachshund in there. That works. Uh, yeah, why not? What waste money for no reason? Uh, accessories. I wish it would give us some more options here as well. Premium organic. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Whatever that means. Uh, stickers you can put in here, which is pretty cool. Uh, that one is interesting. No road, no problem. The freedom bird. Got to do the freedom bird. Let's do it. Uh, and then exterior stickers you can put on the actual truck. Now, this is something I haven't seen before. Um, and we're not going to do that. Hood ornaments. Look at this. How cool is that? We have a charging bull, bulldog, dolphin. We're putting a dolphin on this thing, dude. 
yes. Dolphin all the way. And uh, that's all we have for customization of the 49X. Well, let's go exploring. Let's fire this thing up. It's got a pretty nice uh, sounding engine in this thing. And the horn on it's not bad either. There you go. Scamp. All right, let's get uh, let's get rolling here and explore. Whoa, look at that. We had a bird there. That was interesting. Let's see what the interior looks like on this thing. Now, they have a new option, and we're going to do it today. We're going to be able to... Ooh, love the air brake sound. That is nice. We're going to remove the hands. Yes. High driver hands on. This is something so new. And I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm excited for it. We're playing on an Xbox One controller today. But with this option now, I am excited to do a uh, full on run with using the you know steering wheel and all my whole setup like that because the steering wheel setup is getting much better. Look at that out in the distance. That looks beautiful. This is a cool looking map, man. I love the interior of this thing. Let's go out this way. But how nice is it you don't have to worry about the, the crazy hands anymore? That's no longer a thing. Let's go for a watchtower, which is going to be to our... Uh, we can make a left out of here and then another left and go across the bridge. Well, it looks like the bridge may not be there. We'll see if that's the case. I hear a radio going on here. I don't know what's going on with that, but that's okay the body roll of this thing and uh one thing they did make sure is that uh you know you do have a beast of a truck here uh the 49x is you know you got to pay for it but it's really good as far as like uh its capability so here's some options here to uh pick stuff up here we are and uh, i'll show you cargo management here and loading cargo so this is just uh, the normal stuff that we normally see cool uh, we'll go get the watchtower so we have a better understanding of what's going on in the area. And then after that, we'll, uh, you know, start doing a mission or something. So let's get going and just see what the uh, layout of the land is like. If this isn't a huge snowy map. Yep. As I figured, the bridge is completely out. And that doesn't look like something we're going to be able to get cross very easily so the task on this is uh the bridge was broken by the flood you can help restore it if you want to use the shortcut and uh let's see what they want out of us on the northern bridge metal beams times two which we can do easily it's just right here so that kind of worked out in our favor didn't it they didn't make us work too hard for this one i can get behind that i gotta say the western star 49x the look of it is starting to grow on me the more i see it the more i do like it so i think that's pretty pretty awesome actually that they have brought this truck to this now we haven't turned on all-wheel drive or anything we're just you know driving her stock as she is uh, with the beacon lights on here slow down and cargo management we'll just go ahead and unload that and we'll go ahead and do one more of those and that should get the uh, bridge all finished here you'll notice this thing is a triaxle truck and uh, oh they're not going to let us do that because we're deconstructing we have to go get it from somewhere else. But uh, I was going to show you this. Change suspension mode. Look at that. We can use that uh, third or, uh, third axle there. And that's sweet. I love it. I love that we have these options available to us now. Okay, so we just deconstructed that and took the metal beams from it. We're going to have to do the same thing somewhere else. Let's go back the other way. And we'll see if we can come across anything else we can deconstruct and steal metal beams from. <laughs> that would be nice, right? But... Yeah, I'm excited for this map. This is the one I've been waiting for. You know, the uh, the last one, I wasn't so, you know, over the top excited about, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, this is the one I've been waiting for. All-wheel drive on you. There we go. Let's see how she does in the mud with all-wheel drive on. We haven't had to use diff lock yet, but we'll see if we have to here. Looks like it's getting through that pretty easily. Watch out for deer. We have a deer crossing section here. All right, let's slow down here and... Keep an eye on what we're supposed to do. Let's go this way. I don't know what's over here. That doesn't look like we can deconstruct anything there, but maybe back here we'll find something. I don't know, but what a great looking truck, man. Look at the front of this thing when we turn all our lights on. Look at that. We got all those fog lamps. That looks really cool. I do like that. So back here we have a deconstruction area. It looks like it's only going to be for wooden uh, lumber for the most part from what I can tell. But let's put it in low here so we can turn on our diff lock and see how this thing actually crawls. It does really nice, actually. And I love having that third axle. The cargo management, yeah, wooden planks only. So we have to find something else that has metal beams. All right, we're moseying on down the road once again. And uh, we're trying to find another place that'll have the metal beams. 
and I've yet to find it. Although we are coming across a lot of mud, so there's a lot of standing water on this map. We got another cabin over there. There's some lumber for the most part. Yeah, another one of those. So those are things that you can deconstruct for that. But we need to find a spot we can actually pick up some metal beams here. I mean, when you put this thing down in low and you've got diff lock going, this thing crawls right through the mud, no problem. Even with, uh, you know, the off-road tires and not uh, just mud. You know, that stupid tree. A little shrub. We'll just drive right over it, no problem. There we go. And once we get out of the mud, we can just throw it back into auto. The diff lock's disengaged. And you're back in business once again. Okay, I'm looking over here. It looks like we might have an option right here for something. So I'm going to back up and actually make a right-hand turn and go back in that little area right there. I might be finding some metal beams if I do it that way. Let's see how this goes here. All right, back around that way. Wonderful. But yeah, I love the new map, man. I really do. And I know we have another map that people can be like, I thought this was SnowRunner, not MudRunner. Um, but you get the best of both worlds, so it's it's going to be all right. Whoa, don't, don't roll her over. Although we have that nice winch. We haven't had to use it yet, but I do want to see how great it is. Let's go with the... Ooh, that wasn't the winch I wanted. I wanted a winch to one of these huge trees in front of us, man. All right, go around this big mud puddle. That looks like something back here. There's something back here. I don't know what it is, but it does look nice. Well, I hope your week is off to a good start. Oh, baby. I think we might find some metal beams here. I do. I do. Uh, metal rolls, small pipes, metal beams. There it is right there. Load them up, baby. All right. Let's go take care of that, uh, that bridge so we can head over that way towards. So there's more stuff back there, but it looks like it's lumber for the most part. I think that's one of those cabins. Uh, yeah, wood framing. That's what that is. Nope. It's behind us, actually. It's this building here. That is so cool, man. There's something just so different about having to, uh, you know, deconstruct things to uh, to build. That uh, brings something new to the table, and I do, uh, do like it. So it looks like we can get out just straight. We don't have to go back to the right again like we did before. So that worked out. Let's put it down in low and get that diff lock on. Now that we have all this uh, weight and uh, just crawl on out of here. No problem. Right, we got our beacons on and we dropped that other axle. We're going to see if that helps us out here as we're having some uh, some fun in the mud right now. I'll tell you that. But yeah, once we had that down, it is, uh, it's helping out a lot. It's a little bit more turning to the left, but man, yeah, we are pushing through this mud. Maybe that... Uh, that bull bar was not the best idea. And look at that. We're just going to get stuck down in the mud. So let's go back into low and let's use our winch here. So we don't have to work so hard. We did get that uh, heavy duty winch and that is really helping us there. Awesome. And release it. We want to go to the left over here. So let's get another winch point. There we go. And we could use our side winch as well. That would make things a lot easier, but I'm, I'm seeing what the truck's capable of right now. And looks like it's struggling with that. Is it the uh, suspension mode that's hurting us? Looks like it might have been actually not helping the situation. For those of you that are like uh, truckers and stuff, maybe you can shed some light on that. Because uh, I'm still not really sure when you're supposed to use a uh, third axle and when you're not. I've always been kind of just, you know, put it on when you get on a certain road or when you feel like it. Okay, this isn't working out. We're going to figure this out big time. Oh, there we go. I guess I accidentally turned my diff lock off while I was talking. Oops. Oopsies. So that made things a lot easier. Uh, we'll get through the rest of this mud here. Once we get on this road, we go back into auto. There we go. Now we are rolling. Now we're a trucking. So if you leave a comment below on that and uh, try to shed some light on the third axle, that'd be amazing because uh, we're going to have to be using it in this truck and uh, it's the first time I've seen one in SnowRunner that uh, actually works. Now, an American Truck Simulator, I uh, always dropped it down when I got on the highway or something like that, but this I'm not really sure. Well, there's the garage and I don't know if you noticed, whoa, that was bad. There's a huge pothole there. I was not paying attention. I was looking at, oh, we're gonna take that sign down. Uh, that right there, it says uh, Trans-Canadian. 
truck stop. And then there's the Canadian flag hanging up over there too. I got a little rubbernecky there and smashed right through that stuff. Oops, and did some damage. But yep, there's the Canadian flag over there. So this should get us going here. Uh, so we can finally get up into the mountains, it looks like. Let's come to a stop here. And cargo management, unload. There we go, we've been promoted. And we have built ourselves a nice bridge. The Northern Bridge, great, thanks for your help. You are very welcome. You're more than welcome. We're happy to do it for you. So there's more wood over there. So we have to keep an eye out on these places along the way so we know. Yeah, hey, look at that snow over there, that's cool. Um, let's go back to this menu and go to the global map and I'll show you. You have flooded foothills and then you have big salmon peak and you can see there's only two of these so if you're looking for snow i'm sure it's coming like come on it's the yukon um it's gonna happen so with uh the yukon here you have a regional progress on the left so you have ore processing plant constructed and gold mining started so those are the things that we're doing um and if you come in here to your uh contracts and gold horse mining you can see we're going to be doing some mining stuff here uh conveyor belts and it, there's a lot here um and i'll be honest you know i haven't finished everything in uh, the other maps but it's just you know it's it's the repetitive kind of washing uh repeat that uh I, I that made me stop playing the game for a while and then i got into mods and those were fun so this is something totally fresh and new uh and i'm excited to see what they have uh, coming forward but like I said, I'd like to see, you know, if you're buying a DLC truck, they got to have some more uh, options when it comes to customization. So you can really feel like, you know, it was worth the purchase outside of the season pass DLC. All right, we'll turn to the right here. What do we got here? So cargo management here, it looks like brick. Yeah, yeah, bricks. So this is really cool that uh, all these different places are, you know, instead of the prefab of picking up here, picking up there, you have this now it looks amazing you know even with uh, the wheel support being a thing now um, which we will be doing soon because now that we have the options to remove the hands it won't drive us nuts there's a little trail that goes off to the left there I wonder where that goes uh, it doesn't look like it goes anywhere really uh, we need to get to that where'd that uh, what you call it watchtower go oh is it way up there okay so we're just gonna follow this road around down by the river Look at that it kind of like curls all the way around oh that's another little river or creek over there on the right side of it oh man that is some deep mud right there but she's doing it no problem in automatic mode i'm pretty blown away by that there's more materials there so that's where you could you can get some more metal beams we know that oh we got something going on here let's see what this is now there's a trail that goes to the left that we're going to go to but this is a oh a trailer New objective discovered a dump truck for dump truck. Okay, well, that's good to know. Let's see what that's all about. Well, let's see what the task is. Uh, hey there, we need someone to get new disassembled quarry truck over here. We put it together ourselves. You can help yourself to our old one. Just don't forget to fuel it up. So the old one, uh, you get a uh, you get a Caterpillar 770G. So that's how you get that truck. Okay, well that's cool. You're going to be uh, trading that in for the other one. We'll have to do that in a separate video. I want to come up here and get the watchtower in this video. So this is going to be a minute. I have a feeling we're going to be nice and muddy on the way up. I've got her in low. We got the diff lock going here, and we are just crawling through this section here. Uh, it's doing it. No problem. Like, not a problem at all. And I love the mirrors on this thing. It's, this looks so great. Like really good and check it out they do have snow on the map so you're gonna have the best of both worlds like I was talking about I was pretty sure they had snow in this map somewhere so it looks like when you go up the mountain you're gonna be dealing with snow and ice and stuff now that blending of the two elements is so cool that is neat okay I don't know what we're gonna do here this looks like not even a good idea is that legitimately the trail we need to go up? It looks like it. It's a snowy trail. All right, Western Star, I hope you're ready for it, man. Let's do it. Look at those mountains in the distance there. That is awesome. We're just crawling on up through here. Actually, we found this, you know, the rock bed here is helping out a lot. 
with the climb right now. We're just basically climbing a creek. I don't know what winch options we're going to have, but that is cool, man. Okay, so it's it's not so bad through here. This seems definitely doable. We're just keeping her in low. We got our diff lock on and all-wheel drive, and she's just climbing it no problem. Although this part here looks a little more difficult, and I figured that was going to be the case. There's no winch attachment points here. Oh, there's a rock there. It's kind of hurting us. All right, we might have to do something different here. All right, we're just sliding down this thing. Look at this. This is craziness. Absolutely crazy. We're going to recover and we'll get a scout vehicle so we can actually get up here and see uh, what we got. Well, even with the Warthog, I'm having issues getting up uh, that little spot here. So what I'm going to do, since I have the Warthog, it's a little smaller. I'm going to go around this way in between trees and stuff. And we're going to try to find ourselves an alternate way up this hill without battling the water that was sliding us down. And look at that. We're in the snow. Playing in the snow. It's kind of making our own path here, but it's working out so far. If we just keep going this way, we need to stay near trees so we can actually winch to them when we need to, which is working out pretty good. We're almost to the top of that little mountain we needed to get over. And we can get towards the watchtower. Looks like that is a downhill and something is down there, actually. Let's make a left turn here. We'll go around this way. And we'll see what that is. Crawling through the snow, and look at that. There's a base of something here, which is great. We can come down here. I think there's a road, and that might lead us up to the watchtower. That's what it's looking like to me. Um, Not sure. There's a contract or something happening here. Let's put this thing back into auto. Uh, it wasn't any better, honestly. We needed the diff lock. That was kind of helping us. It's just slow, slow movements happening here at the moment and no winch points besides behind us all right we made it out of that so what is this task exactly it's called support the meteor lot oh okay it's one of those things where you have to uh help out the meteorologists okay well uh there's no road that gets out of here now to go towards the watchtower we have to go straight up here i don't know if that's going to work or not that looks like it might be a trailer right there might be Let's go between these two trailers and then start climbing the hill uh, and use the winch. This thing's doing really well on the snow. Look at this. We're just climbing. It's like no problem at all. There's a little heavy snow right there, but we can use our winch. That is the watchtower. I can see it up there. So it's not too far out of our reach. Not too far. And once we get that, we'll have a better idea of what is around here, actually. Sun is starting to set. We made it through the deep snow on top of these rocks. If I just stay to these rocks, we should have some decent... Uh, some decent luck here I'm gonna put it in low and with the diff lock on uh, and it's crawling right up this mountain and there is the watch point right there all right use those trees and now we're just kind of doing some rock crawling here but that is the watch point right there we're so close to it uh, put it first here and get through these little trees right here we should be decent after that there we go oh hello don't you roll it now we got all the way up here don't you roll it now Jeff That'd be real stupid, man. That'd be real dumb. All right. We have the watchtower right there. That's it right there. Looks like there's a task here and then a watch point. Go into to auto. You can do this, right? You can get through the, the snow, no problem. As an objective there called down. That is avoid these interactions. Oh, it's one of those things where you have to uh, beat a certain time. But there is the watch point. We did it. We finally made it up here. Wow. Let's see the observation. That is a beautiful map, man. Absolutely beautiful. Here it is. We have opened up. There's the sawmill, an abandoned trailer, an abandoned truck there. Interesting. Wonder what that what that, what that is. I don't know. Uh, but now we can see that whole point from here on up where we were. So that's a warehouse there. And then we can explore this and then all of this is watch There's two more down there three down south so that is cool man that is really cool well i'm gonna end things here for this episode of snow runner let me know what you thought of the new season pass and the dlc truck the 49x and i'll see you next time take care hello everybody it's jeff i uh, just want to let you guys know that uh, merch is available if you check out the link in the description below and uh, there should be some images you can click on below the video as well. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I do appreciate it.